What? Hello everyone and we are back for another video I'm going to quickly show you some ins and out of the grade book feature. Um, this is very important because the grade book also helps you with the grades and the planning feature. Right now we're at the home page of Schoolology. As you see, we're at my account. And this is the basic home page with all the feed information that has been coming in. I'm gonna to go to courses and for this time I've created a sample school course, which is help me miss how to use Schoolology. So we're gonna click in there. I should have a couple of student volunteers who've decided to be in here, which is under members. Remember clicking members lets you look individually to see which students you have and who you're working with. We're working with basically two. This video is going to be about the grade setup. You can't use the grade book until your grade setup is done and it is completed in the way that you want it to be. So we're gonna focus a little bit into grade setup today. Here are your categories. You must have categories in order to decide what you want to do. So you can simply add your category here, and I'm going to put in quickly homework, calculated by total points or percent, I'm doing total points, drop the lowest. If I had five homeworks and I wanted to drop the lowest two grades, I can do that for this one. I'm going to go ahead and say zero and create. I'm adding another category, which will be class assignments. Same thing, calculate by total points, drop the lowest, I will go with one. I'm also going to talk about um, the projects, excuse the noise, and calculate it by total points. And we keep doing this until you have enough that you want to turn around and complete that way. After you do that, you decide if you're going to weight the categories or leave them themselves. I'm going to weight categories because I don't want my homework to be 30% of my grade. I know that I want it to be roughly about 10% and it automatically does that calculation for you. I'm going to class assignments, going to be 30. Projects will be 30. I'm going to add another since I'm just working with this for summative exams. Calculated by total points, and I'm going to give that when we do our weights again, start that over again to 30, 10, 30, down to 30. So that's briefly where you want here. You can definitely do a favorite if you choose to. You do not have to, the favorite comes up automatically. Grading periods and final weights. You cannot set your grade book over here until this is done. This is important. Once again, you hit edit and you have your term. I'm going to go automatically to what they've given us, which is January 27th to June 30th. However, you could add your own grading period if yours is different. You get to look now at the final pieces, which is your final grade setting. Do you want numeric or do you want an A plus or minus? Calculated grades, round period, and your final grades. You also have grading control columns in your grade book, and you're able to do all these things. These are mostly what you decide to do as an instructor, and you can play around with all of that. This is your grade setup. I will tell you now, you cannot use the grade book until you have saved these changes. And then you can start inputting students grades, which is actually over here, which is another video we will talk about where we talk about how we can play around with Schoolology. Thank you so much. This was just a quick thing on grade setup and I appreciate it.